Intel Core Ultra 9 285K CPU may boost up to 5.5 GHz. Modders have added a second screen to Asus ROG Ally. Samsung Exynos 2026 might be going for their in-house GPU architecture over AMD's. And lastly, crazy CPU and GPU deals and updates are here. Okay, so first of all, we have the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K Arrow Lake desktop CPU has been rumored, and the clock speed we're looking at is 5.5 GHz. Considering that is not quite fast because 4900 ks might be going over 6 gigahertz so that is quite lower so in the weibo forum we get to see these information so let's look into it so firstly we have this user here is iterating that now it feels like raptor lake frequency lead over arrow lake will be even greater than arrow lakes lead over raptor lake in single core performance so basically 12900k to 4900k at a raise of 15 percent in single core frequency which led to a lot of instabilities that we're looking at but arrow lakes however will be looking quite Quite lower as i mentioned 5.5 gigahertz which is not more than 4900k so that basically kind of tells you that they're going lower clocks just for the stability to be resolved it seems like so another information we get is that the frequency of 4900ks will be 12 percent higher than that of the ultra 2 285k basically it means the ultra 9 285k it seems like but the single core performance of 285k may not be 12 percent higher than that of 4900ks well basically it will be higher than 4900ks in terms of single core performance but the frequency is not going to be higher than 4900 ks that is obvious here but the question would be will it be 5.5 because that also has been answered here which you can see is that the frequency of 285k has come out which is 5.5 basically it's impossible according to this user and 5.3 is pretty good but i feel like with overclock maybe you can reach 5.5 that is quite possible but as i mentioned here that we can see that core i9 4900 ks was reaching up to 6.2 max so basically ultra 9 according to the leaks ultra 9 to 85k might also reach 5.5 which is again it's an assumption not for sure 5.3 however might be a stable one so they're going for lower clock speed this time around i wonder why maybe because the stability issues they're going lower but it will be still higher than alder lake which is again 5.2 so we'll see about that next up we have something interesting here asus rg ally got a second screen well not officially of course basically a mod then so github we have this particular mod we look we could see here which is the asus rog ally second screen mod and you can clearly tell that there's a second screen right over here connected with the asus rog ally console which is quite interesting that they could do that and you can also see it can be folded which is quite interesting you can carry it pretty easily without any problem so basically the whole tutorial is right over here this is the basically the screen back screen of the actual monitor the asus rog ally and this screen will be attached to the handheld console and the whole tutorial is here so if you're interested you could do the same thing because you have all the tutorials right over here and the part list has been already added here so if you are interested to make this mod yourself you can check in the link in the description and then maybe you'll be able to get these parts and do it yourself yeah it's pretty interesting that they have modded, modded into this more companies should do this in my opinion next up we have something interesting an information coming from roland quant i hope i spelled that right but according to his information he codes there would be exynos 2400 and then th th there will be exynos 2500 which is of course the s5 e995 exynos 2400 will be using an amd gpu of course and the, also the follow-up one which is going to be the exynos 2500 will also be using amd gpu that is we can already understand but after that in 2026 samsung seems to aim for the release of a next gen flagship soc featuring its own gpu so samsung is deciding in 2026 they will be going for the samsung exynos 2600 that would be featuring their own in-house gpu architecture not amd's rdna4 or any other rdna architecture that will be coming into the future so that is quite interesting samsung has decided to move on with their own gpu which is kind of understandable because you would want to use your own socs rather than be relying on other companies like amd or nvidia because you know it requires more cost you kind of really align it with your budget i guess it seems like that is quite understandable so i wonder how how good it would be because you know exynos itself is not that great and for exynos 2400 we're not for sure how that would be same goes for the 2500 and 2600 so we'll see about these socs so for now we know that 2400 will be using the amd rdna3 architecture based on the x eclipse 940 and the 2025 that will be launching the exynos 2500 that will be also using the amd rdna x meaning rdna4 now we know that but for the 2600 they will be using samsung
Samsung's own in-house GPU. So that's quite interesting that they are taking that approach. Next up, we have some PC deals. But before that, we have some update about the Ryzen 5 8400 and the Ryzen 7 8700F. And as you can already tell, it's going to be costing the Ryzen 5 8400F will be costing $189. And the AMD Ryzen 7 8700F will be costing $299. These prices look good. However, 8400F is still more expensive than the 8500G. That is quite interesting that 8400F is more expensive than the 8500G. That doesn't really make sense. But the 8700F, however, is only $299. When you see the comparison for the Ryzen 7 8700G, it's coming at $329. So around $30 cut here. And that's quite understandable because 8700G comes with the iGPU and the 8700F doesn't come with the iGPU. So that makes sense. For any build with the GPU, I believe it's better to go with the 8700F. We also have more GPU deals. We have the Sapphire Radeon RX 7900 XTX and this one particular GPU is going for $929. Basically 7% cut from $1000. Not a huge cut again, but pretty decent. But you can also get a $30 coupon and that will basically make your cut a $100 cut. So that obviously is a great deal here. That's for sure. Coming at $899. We also have the Sapphire AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT which is also the Pulse variant coming at $699. And this time it's pretty big because you know $699 going coming from 829 it's massive 16% drop is not that bad next up we have some crazy cpu deals here and i mean crazy it's crazy amy ryzen 97950 x3d is coming at 576 dollars 17 percent cut from 699 that's a massive price cut 17 percent is no joke but you'll be more surprised because ryzen 97900 x3d coming with a price cut of 35 percent coming at 391 from 599 this is the biggest cut i've ever seen 391 for a 12 core processor it's a steal it's definitely is a steal so you might want to check this one out and next time even bigger price cut ryzen 7 5700x which is obviously a non x3d processor which is understandable but the price cut here is massive which is understandable you know because you know it's older one generation only but still 171 dollars a 46 percent price cut is massive huge and of course the biggest one this is going to be the biggest one but also it is limited time so you don't want to miss it out ryzen 7 5800x coming at 175 from 449 around 61 percent price cut is the biggest price cut of any cpu that i've ever witnessed this is massive definitely a massive price cut if you want to buy these processors or gpus of course check the link in the description it doesn't cost you that much and it also helps the channel so do want to check it out so yeah the update here for the ryzen 5 8400 f seems interesting the pricing looks quite interesting to my in my opinion because uh, 189 price for the ryzen 5 8400 f is kind of weird because it's more expensive than the 8500g but again the uh, amd ryzen 7 8700 f kind of makes sense and of course the price cuts all around bc is pretty big so you don't want to miss it 